Buenos días, chicos y chicas. Son las 5 y 40 de la mañana. Todavía estoy muy cansado. Usualmente me levanto a las 8 y media. Es lo que hay. Pues tengo que, que poner eso para el transporte aquí en Londres. Es la única ocasión que necesitamos de poner esta mascarilla. So just done with security and now I have to find a gate number. It's been taking quite of a time just to get there. We finally arrived, waiting for the bus and then we're gonna find our place and then we're gonna eat some good food. Only Spanish food! Woo. Oh yeah, no kebabs! Don't have six scissors or just anything. And the little apartment, it's really nice. I got everything that I need, got my bed here, I got well, place for my clothes. Can you imagine? Also have our ironing board. This is amazing to be sure that you are all good. Also, a washing machine and a microwave. First day in Madrid, 7 p.m. Water in London is not that good. Is it better here? I don't know, but. Well, it's not cold at all, man. It's not cold, so it's all right. I don't think I, as long as I don't get sick with the water, I'm all good. You know, that's the only important part. Buenos días. Son las once de la mañana. E me siento como. Salimos a muchos bares diferentes cerca del centro. Eh, bueno, fue muy divertido. We don't want to waste more time, so I'm gonna take a shower real quick. We're going to try to visit a museum and a park today, see beautiful parts of Madrid, and hopefully find some good food. <laughs> gonna be all black today, really hot weather, but I don't care. With black, you never go wrong, you know. Just gonna eat some of that pumpkin seeds, you know, protein. All right, let's go. Ready to go. Ready to go walk. <laughs> 14 minutes walk. Amazing weather. Uh, this is just always like that in Spain. Weather is always good in Spain. I love, I love, I love the weather here. Coming from a really cold country, Canada, uh, for me, this is more than amazing, you know? Here they are. I think usually there's tons of people because it's such a touristic area. But like, if I had my lumber here, I would have the best time. How do you feel this morning? Amazing! Yeah. How, Despite how the fact that I feel like I'm going to pass out. But that's fine. Why are you going to pass out? Because I drank too much. Because these Spanish people put too much alcohol in their drinks. Yeah, that's, that's a <laughs> too fact. Too much, I can't do it. <laughs> it's not even doubles, it's quadruple. Triple, yeah, like yeah it's, he said like triple. Yeah, like triple, <laughs> at least triple. Hey! Hey, um, so tell, tell us, um, how yes. hungry are you? We've not eaten for 24 hours. Look at our thick, thin bodies. <laughs> Need to get some fat on our thighs. So. Have you seen a toilet? You have to do that. <laughs> Inside the toilet. I've not been to the toilet yet. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, so we have just eaten, right? And how was it? It was amazing. Yeah. I, my eyes were definitely hungrier than my stomach. Pregnant with a salmon right here. How, how much was it? Oh, I oh got It cost me an arm. I trust me. It's like 18 euro. When? When is that? Why? What happened? Casey, she's hitting up on the Spanish guys over here. Naked Spanish guy. <laughs> yeah. So um, we're just waiting for her to finish 
her work. Is she going for the number or like the Instagram? What do you think? What do you think? I think Instagram. Exchange the Instagram. This is Instagram. Because you know what? It's my fault. I just don't know any Spanish. Like, if you want to get girls or boys in Spain, try to learn some Spanish. That's the, <laughs> that's the, the lesson of the day. But you know what? I enjoy using the Google Translator. Huh? Well, this is not the path to go. Good. There we go. Done. Paco! It's camouflage. I wonder how is it inside, huh? This is El Palacio de Cristal. Greetings, Cousins Cove. This is how you put it, eh? We've been waiting our whole whole life for that. Oh my god, totally! I want Moment. to see life-size flowers, not life-size, like over-exaggerated. I still have this gum under my shoe. <laughs> Gigantic flowers. Amazing, mate. You love it. I'm in awe of these gigantic flowers. I'm like, am I tripping? Is this real? We we pick up these flowers. It's flourishing. Yes. Guys, it is Saturday and uh, we're going to um, another museum. Um, a bit less hot than yesterday, which I'm not going to complain about either. I got some apple from the grocery stores. Hmm. This one's juicy, this one's good. This is the museum Reina Sofia. Looks quite big. I'm gonna see what is inside of that. Looks nice, we got our tickets. Tickets were like really cheap, like far, far, five pounds. Now four or five euros. So I think we're like just all kind of tired right now. So we are going to get back to our places, sleep a little bit. Necesitamos descansar un poco. Saturday, Saturday went super fast today, to be honest. We haven't walked much. This is a whole happened yesterday, like when we went to the park and everything. Yeah, the gallery, if you're like into feminist art, You'll love it. It was an experience that I'm glad I had. I will remember it for a short period of time. Station Sol. Okay, let's cut, cut it, cut it, cut. We're not going to somewhere else uh, in terms of like tourism. We are going to do bars tourism in Spain, you know? That's, that's what we're heading to. And... Um, <laughs> that's the best type of tour. Like, um, when I went to Barcelona, I've been to obviously some tourist places, but most of my experiences were like in bars, getting to know the culture, getting to know people that live there. And this is what made it really good. You know? Is it on? <laughs> <laughs> what, do you think, what do you guys think about my tan? This is my two days tan uh, in uh, Spain. Glow. El sol me queda muy bien. What do you think it's beautiful like in Madrid? I like the clean streets. You know, my friend right here, she had to walk barefoot and I thought I had to protect her to be her saviour but you know, one job less. And the streets are very clean. Yeah, it's banking clean. I walked what? all the way home with socks on and nothing happened. My feet are intact. Would you be able to do that like in London? No, I would step on someone's half eaten chicken and chips on the ground. I'm trying to find a place whilst filming and I am so to be true. blamed. I have a that is. tip for you, Marco. <laughs> what? Stop filming. Well, he would know how to work around the place if you got a map. What's happened to, to you, Marco? You're usually really good. <laughs> What's happened? <laughs> we just roasted him. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is like a really like... You know what? This, this feels like Oxford Circus in Why London. Piccadilly yeah, Piccadilly Circus. This is like the same, but in Madrid. Sure, yeah, man. This is done now, five days in Spain, went super fast. Now I'm just waiting for my um, my gate number. Going back to London and the bad news is now I have to self-isolate for 14 days. I cannot be angry about it. I took the risk of traveling whilst we're in this pandemic. So really, I don't have anything to say. 
you know, I cannot say that, oh my god, it's unfair. Well, I think it's totally fair, you know, I took the risk. I was supposed to go to Canada, my flight got cancelled. Um, so I, I, I then chose to go to Spain instead. And I always wanted to visit Madrid because um, I visited Malaga, Barcelona. And Madrid was definitely on my list. I didn't know anything about Madrid and now I can say that I really like Madrid. Um, so I'm, I'm still glad I did it. Uh, it was interesting, you know, wearing mask at almost 30 degrees outside. But that's just how it was. So nothing I could do about it. Um, definitely a nice trip whatsoever and hopefully next time I'm visiting Spain it will be in a better moment no come there also um, I haven't been able to film a lot of things because in the museums I couldn't film at all it was not allowed and um, yeah anyway I really wanted just to profit nightlife was fun even though had to wear the mask pretty much everywhere, anytime. It was a great time, good music, a lot of reggaeton, salsa, bachata, merengue, you know, this is always making me smile, so I was having a really good time, regardless of this whole situation. No hay nada que puedo hacer, así que... Hasta luego, hasta luego, mi amigo. Bueno, voy a tomar esta oportunidad para hacer más videos uh, a ver tal vez este fin de semana voy a hacer otro video no sé sobre qué quiero hacer algo gracioso no soy una persona demasiado serio sabes quiero a, quiero hacer algo gracioso que la gente puede descansar me preguntaba si podría hacer un video totalmente en español con subtítulos. Jacket from its container and put it over your head. Devices must be switched off and disconnected from the seat power socket. Back in London. Oh yeah, finally back in London. Well, not finally because it's not like it was something I really wanted, wished for. Um, I was really. <laughs> doing great in Madrid but it's just what it is you know um, yeah so now I'm super stoked to stay home for two weeks doing nothing but I'll try to be productive and that's it I hope you enjoyed this little vlog video of Madrid experience my experience in Madrid um, I really loved it and I will definitely suggest you guys